Welcome to our store. Wait, Kaisuke? Oh, Yurika. Didn't know you were working here. Yeah, I do. Oh, right. I came here to buy this today. What? A bridal magazine? Th that's unusual. You buying a magazine like this, you only ever read comics. Yeah, I never thought I'd be buying one at this age either. Uh, I see. Is Kaisuke getting married? To a woman I don't know about? This is Yurika Sautome, a third-year college student who works part-time at a convenience store. Well, see you tomorrow at college. Yeah, see you tomorrow. I'm Kaisuke Kubota, a third-year college student. Yurika and I have been together since high school and even attend the same college. More than friends, I've been starting to like her lately. Let's see if my picture's in here. While attending college, I work part-time at a wedding venue. A bridal magazine company recently came to interview us at my job, and I came here to buy it as a memento. <sighs> when did Kaisuke get a girlfriend? I should have confessed my feelings sooner. If he's buying a bridal magazine, that means he's already proposed. This is shocking. But he's not married yet, right? So... I still have a chance. I decided to make my last bet. The next morning. Good morning, Kaisuke. Huh? You look different today. Did you put extra effort into your outfit? You're usually in sweats or track pants. What do you think? Sexy, right? Uh, I'm not an expert on women's fashion, but it looks good, doesn't it? Hmm, I guess men with fiancés are more sensitive to a girl's change in attire. Hey, wanna have lunch together today? I made too much food for my lunchbox and ended up with two. Oh, that would be great! It'll save me some lunch money. But why would you bring two just because you made too much? If you don't want it, I can give it to someone else. No, I appreciate it. Eureka and I used to occasionally talk back in high school. Through some coincidence, we ended up joining the same club in college and are now pretty close. What? Baby clothes? Could it be? She's already expecting a baby with her fiance? No way! Kaisuke, are you interested in baby clothes? Why? Well, because I want some. You know, Kaisuke, you seem to have this adult charm about you recently. What? What are you talking about all of a sudden? Stop staring at me like that. It's embarrassing. I just shaved my beard roughly today. I wonder if it's because of the growing responsibility making you more mature. What are you talking about? What do you think of me, Kaisuke? Um, well, I guess you're cute. Really? You think I'm cute? Why are you acting so sudden? I'm setting my sights on you, Kaisuke. Wait, are you messing with me this early in the morning? Look, the professor's coming in. Class is about to start. Before the lecture started, Eureka started showing signs of being interested in me. I was happy, but the timing couldn't have been worse. If we were alone... <sighs> Even after being so forward, he doesn't flinch. He must be really committed to marrying his fiancé since they even have a child. Maybe it's hopeless. During lunch, I was eating the lunchbox Eureka made me. Oh, this is delicious! Eureka, you're a great cook! You would make a great wife. Y you can't just go around saying someone would make a good wife. I was just complimenting you. Why are you angry? Because you're already... Did I do something wrong? Never mind. Well, everyone has their off days. It must be something like that. Being with Kaisuke from the morning made me happy, but knowing that he has a fiancé complicates things. But is it really hopeless? If he already has a child, should I gracefully step back? But, hey, Kaisuke, I'm really good at making sweets. Do you like sweet things? I love them. Then I'll make some on Saturday. Come over to my place. I can't on Saturday. Then how about Sunday? Right. Are you coming to the club's drinking party today, Eureka? Uh, he changed the subject so suddenly. He must be spending the weekends with his fiance. I have to focus on my report because the deadline is tight, so I won't be going. I'll be there, but it would have been nice if you could come too. 
But if you have a report to do, it can't be helped. If you're going, I'll go too. Are you sure? Yes. After thinking about it, I've actually finished a lot of my report, so it's not a big deal. I misunderstood. I decided to ask Kaisuke about marriage at this drinking party. Then, let's toast to the club's hard work! Cheers! Cheers! But we're already in our third year, huh? Have you thought about what kind of industry you want to work in after graduation? Mm, I'm thinking about it. It would be great if I could secure a job before graduation. But if I can't, it's going to be a problem. In your case, Kaisuke, it would indeed be troublesome if you can't find a job since there are more responsibilities. Because, um... Yurika, long time no see! You haven't been showing up at drinking parties lately. I've been busy with my part-time job. Isn't it fine to participate if you can? Kaisuke, you're always lenient with Yurika. I often see you two together on campus. Are you too close? Are you dating? <laughs> you two are blushing. <laughs> Knock it off, guys. That's right. Kaisuke is soon. Soon what? If you don't know, that's fine. I'm going to borrow the power of alcohol and interrogate him about it. Huh? What do you mean? But an hour later, Eureka, who was talking about some incomprehensible interrogation, got drunk and collapsed. <sighs> Can't be helped. I'll take care of you. Kaisuke. What? Who is Kaisuke's girl? Uh, my girl? I'm going to be Kaisuke's girl! Whoa, you're seriously drunk. I'd be happy if you meant it, but you're just saying that because you're drunk. I thought I should take her home. Hmm? Was I asleep? Oh, you woke up. How do you feel? Okay, where is this? It's my place. Uh, why am I at your place? Don't you remember? Eureka, you got drunk and passed out at the drinking party. But why am I in your room and not mine? Because I couldn't find your keys? They're probably in your clothes pocket, but I couldn't touch your body, so I brought you to my place. I see. I'm sorry for causing trouble. I'll call the taxi in a bit. No, I'm going to stay here tonight. That's not a good idea. I agree, but I want to stay up and talk to you tonight. <sighs> then do as you like. So, this is your room. I'm drunk and don't remember, but I've successfully sneaked in. Surprisingly, you keep it quite neat, huh? Don't stare too much. It's embarrassing. And what happened to the story about you being confessed to by your senior the other day? Are you concerned about me? I don't want you to act so misleading. I properly rejected the senior because he wasn't my type. Do you have someone else you like? Yes, I do. Of course I do. Why are you crying and getting angry? I'm not crying. <sighs> so the wedding is this weekend. I shouldn't be in the room with such a person. I think I'll go home after all. Then I'll call the taxi. No need. I'll get one myself. At the very least, I'm worried until I see you get in a taxi. I'll accompany you. Stop being so kind to me. You should only be kind to your fiancé. Huh? What do you mean, fiancé? Don't play dumb. Eureka stormed out of the room. <laughs> I didn't expect him to have a wedding this weekend. That's why he turned down my invitation on Saturday and Sunday. Kaisuke is still a college student, but he's already getting married. I hate that. Why didn't I confess to him earlier? I wonder what happened to Eureka. She suddenly started crying and got angry. Women are really complicated. Too complicated. But I'm worried if she was able to get a taxi. I should confess to her soon. I enjoy being with her, and I want to be there for her as her boyfriend when she's emotionally unstable. Next Saturday, there's a bridal fair at the wedding venue where I work, and as the main event, a mock wedding will be held. Today is the dress rehearsal, and I'm playing the role of the groom. Are you nervous, Kaisuke? Well, it's your first time, so it can't be helped. I did it last year, too. 
On the actual day, play a bright and refreshing groom. Y yes It's about to start. Wait a minute. Uh. <sighs> I've seen this in movies. Eureka! Kaisuke, I'm sorry. I'm sorry for interrupting on such an important day. But if I don't say it now, I feel like I'll regret it for the rest of my life. I, Yurika Saitome, love you, Kaisuke Kubota. What? Why is she confessing at this timing? Hey, show some manliness, Kaisuke. Me too! I've been hiding it and acting indifferent, but I like you too! I've always thought you were cute, and I enjoy being with you! Will you be my girlfriend? Uh, is it okay to switch that easily? What about the bride? You're mistaken, Eureka. This is just a rehearsal for a mock wedding that will be held next weekend. The woman in the dress is just a staff member of this wedding venue. Oh my gosh! Don't write confusing things on the calendar. Write mock wedding rehearsal. As long as I understand what the note on the calendar means, I don't mind abbreviating it. So that's why you decided to go home all of a sudden after looking at my calendar. But it's amazing you figured out this was the wedding venue. I took a chance. And what about the marriage information magazine? College students don't buy that, do they? I bought it because this venue was featured in that magazine. Then what's with you looking at baby clothes? I was thinking of buying a present for my sister's baby with my part-time job money. So, it was all my misunderstanding. I'm so embarrassed. It's a good thing, isn't it? Thanks to your misunderstanding, we're now dating. But it wasn't very romantic, because we confessed to each other in the heat of the moment. Hey, I'm not satisfied. I want you to confess to me again. Just the two of us, in a different place. Okay, okay. And the other place Eureka chose was in front of the convenience store where she works. Why here? I thought you'd choose a romantic place, like by the sea, or inside a ferris wheel, or somewhere with a night view. Uh, why? It's romantic, isn't it? This is a special place because our misunderstanding started here at this convenience store. If you hadn't bought that marriage information magazine here, our relationship wouldn't have progressed. Well, I guess that's one way to look at it. Now, confess to me again. I feel a slight disturbance in our values, but it's still fun being with Eureka. I'm sure our future together will be fun. <laughs>